Hello and happy birthday to all of my Geminis. We are still in Gemini season. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back, Geminis. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, let's see. We started out this season. This uh, we started out this cycle. Excuse me. In Gemini season, new moon in Gemini on a master number date, 6-6, six, six, right? 6 is a number for creativity, but it's also the number for um, um, it, lo it looks like it's in the shape of a person who is about to give birth to something, right? So you're going through a rebirth. You and somebody are going through a rebirth, right? And so you want to make sure whatever seeds you're planting, you're speaking to your future self. Like, okay, if I'm giving birth to my future self, what does that look like? I want to make sure if I could, if I could give birth to myself all over again, what kind of people would I want myself to be around? What kind of words do I want in my ear gate and eye gate? Like what kind of energies, you know, do I want to prepare for, you know, before I, you know, come through that portal, right? When I want to start coming through these portals, right? So we are in the uh, new moon phase. Technically, it's a waxing crescent moon. But we're still in a new moon phase. And so Source is saying, when you're preparing for your future self, let's see what it looks like in the cards. So as you're moving through these portals, what does it look like? Here we have the Ace of Cups. Here we have the somebody's having one last cry about something. Yeah. Here we have the Ace of Cups. Here we have the um, World card. Here we have the Five of Pentacles. Here we also have the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and also the Ten of Swords. Yep. Ace of Cups here. Somebody's learning how to protect their, you know, protect your pearls of wisdom. You know, I see overflow trying to come in. Here we have the World card, but you're also creating very, very firm boundaries and learning how to keep people out of your vault door, right? That has caused emotional wounding in the past, you know, oversharing, you know, oversharing about certain things as far as your life is concerned or your just oversharing, you know, just spilling the beans, you know, about yourself has just, you know, caused, you know, could have caused some kind of crippling of your money or some kind of handicap in your money or disabling of your money to some degree. You have like, okay, your money kind of maybe froze up a little bit or slowed down. And I'm saying that because of this ice right here. You could have felt like, okay, your money kind of froze a little bit. You went from overflow to slowing down because maybe you overshared, okay? Um, here we have the Ten of Pentacles here, but this is what you're headed back to because Source is saying what you're sharing, it's, it, it's okay to be a person who has a good heart and who shares, you know, things. But Source is trying to teach somebody how to listen to their intuition as well. And it's like, okay, sometimes you can overshare to a point where you're giving people ammunition to use gossip, to use against you, to create distractions all around you that could hurt you. And so maybe looking for people's acceptance and looking for their approval. Source is like, you don't need to look for their acceptance and their approval. They actually expose themselves by... Um, um, they actually lock themselves out of your vault door. So here we have the Ten of Swords. It could have put somebody in that kind of, in that position right here of just being like, man, I overshared something. I probably shouldn't have told my colleague, you know, certain things. You know, I probably shouldn't have told this person certain things. I probably shared too much too soon. Source does not want you to live in I overshared land, <laughs> okay? So it's you and somebody that Source is trying to teach you that, you know, to kind of sort of keep people out of your family's business. That's it, really. It's just like, it's, and that's it. Stop looking for people's acceptance and their approval. You're not trying to be a part of something. So it could be you and a spouse. It could be you and your kids. It's you and somebody, you know, Gemini, that, that source is saying, y'all are like each other's accountability partner. So if you, even if you have 10 kids, you're saying, hey, let's all round up everybody. Listen, dude, this is the family. You know, you don't need to tell everybody everything. You know, the oversharing can come back to bite you and that can actually freeze up stuff because now people feel like they have something to judge you on and you don't know how they're going to spin it, you know. And so you got a, you got energies out here that have a, a um, scarcity mindset when it comes to your flow of money. And so you sharing something in just, just normal conversation with some people and they feel like something has slowed up their money. Okay, let me make sure I mess up. Gemini's money and let me share this about Gemini so you know Source is just trying to treat you how to use discernment you know moving forward so Source is actually 
um, he, here's, um, in terms of like loyalty when it comes to, um, uh, somebody has an ancestor on the other side that said when it comes to loyalty in terms of family, this gray area, see these two gray dogs right here, loyalty, like protection, loyalty, and family. Some people, you know, that you love, you may have shared some things with your own family members that just, just blurted stuff out. And so while it may not for you be that big of a deal for them, it can be used to come back to bite you and bite them. So that's where everybody needs to be on the same sheet of music with this. Like for you, it may not even be that big of a deal, but for them, it could slow them down and cause so much distraction that it actually hurts their feelings. Like they just, man, I shouldn't have said something. I shouldn't have shared that, you know, that kind of stuff, right? Here we also have the Empress card. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you're um, cutting ties and you're teaching teaching whoever your accountability partner is is to cut ties with people who have a scarcity mindset and align yourself with people who have an abundance mindset. And those are people who are, they want you to win regardless, even if you are winning past them. Like if you're exceeding their expectations. So if, they're, if their business is doing a million dollars and your business does $2 million, they still want you to win. They want you to far exceed. They're like, wow, that's amazing, you know, because they see you winning as a win for them as well. So Source is trying to, those are the people that Source is aligning you with. And so that's what somebody is, um, that's what somebody is learning is like, sometimes people just don't, just in, in some people's hurt, and some people's hurt, they just start sharing stuff. They don't know what to say and what not to say. And so that's what you're learning how to teach people is like be very careful of what you share because, and so I, I do see balance being restored in somebody's family. That's what I see. Just because again, it's all forgiven. It's all love. I feel like somebody is learning how to say, you know what, let's just go along with sources flow. Let's, let's talk about um, loyalty and protection of family. You know, what does that mean? You know? And so even if you're single and you desire to be, you know, with someone, you will are having those conversations up front. You know, what does that mean? What, so if it's a, a spouse, like if it's like you single and you about to get into a relationship with somebody, I feel like you're having those conversations up front. So instead of saying, I just want to be so accepted by somebody's family, I'm just going to start oversharing information and next thing you know it's gonna come back to bite me later you know after somebody had one too many drinks <laughs> you know all of a sudden your information start coming out in a whole different way you're like i didn't share that information where that come from right come back totally different so here we have the uh four of uh pentacles so that's what i'm saying right here don't just don't even sweat it because Source is trying to teach you and somebody else is like just stop looking for people's acceptance and their approval and keep people out of your business and that's what it's saying for you and somebody. It's like y'all learning how to just keep people out of your business. Because whatever information people know, as you all are evolving, that's all they're going to have access to. Nothing else. Nothing else. You know, and so Source is basically saying don't share unless, don't share anything that you don't care about getting out. In other words, if you don't care about it getting out, then hey, whatever. People gonna think what they want to think regardless. They're going to judge you based on whatever regardless. Um, as you're finding your circle. So here we have your Whatever your anxiety was, it's going to go away very soon anyway. Yeah. It's, your anxiety is going to go away very soon. And I see you getting very, very rich as a result of it. So source is definitely bringing people across your path that want to align themselves with you. Here we have the five of swords right here. But see, in the past, I feel like looking at somebody, there's people from your past that's trying to block it by saying that, you know, in some way that you're the one that's hostile, that you're the one that's, you know, like when you go back to your past, it's just a form of mind control. Again, it just goes back to, it just goes back to people feeling like they know something about you. It's like the more information they know about you, they can kind of sort of manipulate how they tell other people because that's how they use their time. That's how they invest their time. So it's just saying, but you don't have to worry about that because it was already predestined for you and somebody to have an enormous amount of legacy wealth regardless. It's already predestined. And the time that we live in, you just got to learn how to create very firm boundaries and enforce those boundaries. So, In other words, no more oversharing. <laughs> no more oversharing, right? And be prepared to be like this. Here we have the Ten of Swords, right? For both of you and somebody else. Be prepared to walk away. Be prepared to cut people off. You know, certain, see this right here, these are the same cards right here, 10 to 10. 
You may you may be sad for a minute, but guess what? You bounce right back. You say, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, these are the same cards. And that's what you're helping somebody else with. You're helping them. It's like if you share something and people are judging you based on what you share, you know, as far as your loved ones or your family or whatever, and they mistreat you based on that, then they weren't your friend to begin with. So they can make up whatever, whatever. If they, by your definition of friend, they weren't your friend. Maybe y'all weren't friends, whatever. But that's what I'm saying for you all, uh, Gemini. So, yeah, this is good. And we have the Eight of Swords here. I mean, Eight of Wands here. So, yeah, it's going to speed up a lot of things a lot faster when you're not just going along with somebody else's flow. When you're not going along with somebody else's flow. Yeah. Yep. When you're not going along with somebody else's flow. And so that's what I'm seeing for you all. Yep. That's what I'm seeing for you all. It's like, you know, because um, people are going to keep drawing, like picking for straws, whatever the saying is, like they drawing straws trying to, oh, is this, they'll accuse you of this, accuse you of that, accuse you of being this kind of way or that kind of way or whatever until you uh, confirm or deny something, right? So unless you feel comfortable with confirming or denying something, then let people assume whatever they want to assume, you know? So that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm, you know, seeing here. You're not trying to be accepted or, or, or whatever. You're not trying to be accepted in whatever. So here we have three of pentacles here. So yeah, everything is lining up perfectly for you. You don't even want to tell you everything is lining up perfectly for you. You don't even have to be, you don't even have, because people from your past would be like, oh, I had no idea. They'd be lying. <laughs> you know, oh I, oh, I had no idea that, you know, um, uh, they was related to so-and-so sometimes, sometimes people don't even know who they related to. Like who knows their entire family? Oh, I had no idea. You know, they know how to play all of those instruments. Okay. Um, maybe you just learned after, you know, or oh, I had no idea they were interested in whoever type of person. Okay. Sometimes you find out after the fact, I mean, you know, so sources saying, don't even give it any energy. Don't even give it any energy. So here we have the Ten of Pentacles again. So again, things are being passed down the line generationally for you. And so here we have teamwork here. Teamwork. You don't have anything to be ashamed or embarrassed. I mean, for somebody, you know, like I said, you don't have anything to be ashamed or embarrassed of. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. So again, some kind of new opportunity to make money is coming across your path as a result of it. And again, the same energies that try to harshly judge you based on your creativity or who you, how you created or your parents or like how you were created or if you have kids, who you created as far as your kids or who you procreated with is getting ready to make you very wealthy. It's about to make you very wealthy. And the same energies that judged you all are now outside of your vault door. So it all worked itself out. It's unfortunate that people would, you know, would harshly judge people, but it just, it worked itself out. Somebody went, somebody went and started, you start, you over, this, this how it worked out. You started oversharing. <laughs> somebody went and gossiped to try to mess up your money. But see, this is how the enemy, what the enemy meant for evil, so it's turned around for your good. Somebody, you started oversharing. Somebody went and started telling some people to try to mess up your money. It may have slowed it down for a minute, but guess what? You may have been sad for a minute. Somebody else, your account, your, your accountability partner could have been sad for a minute. But guess what? Somebody caught wind of it and said, oh no, we want to align ourselves with Gemini. And we want this, we're about to make a whole lot of money together. Bingo, there it is. And it's coming, it's coming fast. So when you're talking about speaking to your future self, you're saying, I'm, I'm living in my truth. I'm speaking to my truth. Everybody's evolving. Let's say after a, broke, a breakup, you decided, hey, I'm going to pick back up learning how to play the piano again. You may have not dusted off a piano since you was three years old. That thing could be at this much thick dust on it. But, and you may have totally forgotten now, all of a sudden, somebody's ex could be saying, oh, they never told me they can play the piano. And all of a sudden, they can play these instruments and stuff. That window of time that you were with somebody, you never was even thought about it. But now, okay, to keep your mind fresh and busy, you're like, okay, let me pick back up an instrument. Let me, let me refresh my mind. Like, pour back into myself. I've been neglecting myself all these years. Let me pour back into myself. And that can make you a whole bunch of money. So that's what I'm saying in terms of evolution. You're evolving. You could be a person that sings, musician, whatever. You're just starting to pour back into yourselves. And we have the six of cups here. 
So you're learning how to move in childlike faith. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, and your ancestors are pouring, I mean, pouring more into you, like pouring more, giving you more water. Like they're like saying here, they're passing the baton to you and saying to you, Gemini, we're giving you even more gifts. You know, you know, you've learned how to, now you're learning how to protect your pearls of wisdom because these same people that your heart was in the right place with trying to help people, you're pouring out to them and look what they try to turn around and use it against you. Okay. Got it. Now it's time to create boundaries. Yep, there was judgment right there. You know, trying to judge people. <clears throat> so, trying to harshly judge people. So, now somebody's in the light about some things. Now, things are starting to make more sense to somebody. It's like, okay, now it's starting to make sense. I had to go through that long and arduous journey of trying to figure out what was it. What was what was kind of slowing down? Who was it? What was trying to slow down my money? Who was, who was doing X, Y, and Z? Here we had the Six of Pentacles. And again, it goes back to somebody looking to be accepted in, you know, accepted in some things. So it's just like, no, you're not trying to be accepted into anything. You're not trying to be accepted into anything. Like, so again, like I said, now energies want to align themselves with you. And now they're on the outside of your vault door. They're on the outside of your vault door. So... Here we also have the Three of Swords, and you moved on from the disappointment a long time ago. Yeah, like I said, um, because now, like I said, when I look at your cards here, it was, I feel like somebody before, it would have been a, a form of self-sabotage to not know. But see, when you're free and you say, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're free and you're saying, you know, there's energies that try to drag you down to a lower frequency, oh, that's snake you know, they, they got away with something. They should have told me that they, you know, because I'm looking at this music note right here. That's why I'm saying something about music, right? They should, they didn't tell me this. They didn't tell me that. Look, a lot of people don't feel comfortable about their, their gifts because they've been so harshly judged. The judgment card, they've been so harshly judged by the world. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. They didn't tell me this. So yeah, so source is saying, listen, um, now that you're doing, now that you're doing the mirror work, here we have the nine of cups right here. Some people are like, I didn't know that was there. I didn't know they was related to so-and-so. I didn't know that I didn't know this and that your wishes are being fulfilled. That's what source is saying to you. If people are, if people are still on that frequency of, um, you know, it's like you and somebody, if people are still in that frequency of just like, uh, cause I'm sticking at the six of cups, like say, uh, like somebody saying, I didn't, I didn't know that was their child. I didn't know that was, they passed that gift down to, I didn't know that was their child. They harshly judging people. I didn't know they was related to so-and-so. and so -and -so. Oh, we want to, you know, what X, Y, and Z. I didn't know that was their so-and-so. Source is saying, listen, you're moving on from all of that. You're, you're moving on from all of that. So you're moving on from all that. So you're just, you're just talking to, like I said, talking to, you just telling loved ones to keep people out of the business. Just keeping people out of your family business. Here we have the magician card and that's how you're taking your power back. Like I said, you're forgiving loved ones. You're just telling them like that's, that's a form of self-sabotage. If you're in spaces where people are trying to, um, you know, you're in spaces where you feel like you've been hurt you know, by loved ones. And that's, that's where you want to talk to people about it. Like talk to people like you feel you've been, you feel like you've been hurt. Like, you know, um, you know, you feel lost, you feel confused. Don't go run out and go tell the whole world. So I don't know who this is for, but, um, yeah. Then we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. So, yeah. So, yeah, so this is a lot of hard work I'm looking at here in the cards. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles here, too. So this is, again, financial independence and then also High Priestess. But this is really what brought out somebody's High Priestess gifts, like your intuition. It's just kind of like um, like something brought out somebody's intuition all the time that you may have invested in some things and just kind of... Um, now somebody's like starting to come to the light about some things. Here's the Empress card. Now, you know, starting to come into the light about some things. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's even some family members who may not know certain things about you. They, they may say, well, I had no idea because of their judgment, of their harsh judgment of people. Because I'm looking at this right here. They may say, you know, um, let's say you're a card reader. Because I know I have a lot, I talk to a lot of card readers who tune in um, to my channel. They, and and they, let's say you're a card reader. Your family member is like, I never, I never knew they read cards. Like, I had no idea, you know. All this time I've known, I've never known. They was keeping that a secret. They didn't say anything about such and such and such and such. Because you've listened to the conversations about how people are judged and how people are evil and this, that, and the other. Source is saying, look, or I didn't know something about such and such. Source is saying, look, now that you're now that you're made aware or in the light about certain things, source is saying, yeah, you're you're just staying away from uh, you know, you're staying away from um energies that like i said have harshly judged you in the past and uh, so like i said the baton is being passed to you so let's i feel like somebody could have like a sibling or siblings somebody could have siblings because the baton was passed to you Somebody could have siblings that you may have spent a lot of time around and they don't, they had no idea that you have a lot of gifts. There's a lot of people that are coming into the light about somebody's high priestess gifts. And high priestess gifts is really your intuition and having access to the unknown. That's what it's really about. So source is just making sure that, you know, you, you and... Whoever the gift was passed down to it could be you and your kids or whoever it was passed down to and or you know um you and people in the community, but somebody failed to steal your identity. Oh wow. So somebody's not happy without you. So prepare for an increase in pay. It's time for you to open up your vault door, journal your journey, and just leave all of those energies behind. Here we have they see somebody yeah. Somebody wants somebody wants the best for you. Who it's this energy right here in the card. Somebody has an ancestor on the other side, and we know you have a lot of ancestors here in the cards, but they're saying to you, do the mirror work, because when you look back, now see, what's interesting about water connects us to intuition, right? As your gifts are being, as, as you invest more and more and more in your gifts, you're, you have a lot to draw on. You literally can, and we're not even just talking about card reading, we're talking about channeling clairvoyance all the clairs clair cognizance clair sentience uh premonition precognition all of those that day, daydreams night dream you can literally um have clarity about a tree and i'm not even joking when i say this like or uh like just like um spiritual leaders can create a whole message around you know, like, uh, like by uh, two or three sentences and they create a whole message around it. So for you, if you, if sources, when sources downloading messages into your spirit and you're, you're putting together all of it, it's the same thing. So anyway, so somebody regrets lying to you about something, somebody, some, I don't know who regrets lying to you about something, but, um, it could have just been anything. It could have been loved ones who just didn't tell you that, you know, they, um, they had gifts themselves and they could have helped you to sharpen gifts so you didn't have to go out here in this world and kind of sort of find out, you know, through like tons and tons of disappointment, just how, and how precious your gifts were. This is water. So you didn't have to overshare, you know, certain things. But I mean, like I said, all this forgiving, when I look at your cards here, you're just like, cause when you talk about your gifts and things that, that can be real tricky. Yeah. When you talk about your gifts, that can be really, really, really tricky here. So whatever it is like i said before yeah third eye chakra cleanse if somebody really misses you it's time to ground yourselves the uh the healer and a protector of travelers um is with you and so you have the gift of clear sentience you pick up on others um your vibrations their emotions their moods their feelings and somebody's ex wants to return whoever that's for i don't know who that's for but somebody ex wants to return so yeah, I don't think we have to elaborate on that because exes are exes for a reason. So if you made them an ex, then that's that's between you and that energy. But um, when I look at your cards, it's like you're a person who invests a lot. You have invested a lot in people, you know, in the past. And I feel like your ancestors are saying to you now, you may have overshared a lot, uh, Gemini. 
But before you overshare now, especially now that you know certain types of spirits will try to mess up your money because when they're not doing so well, they instantly see you doing well. Oh, whose money can we mess up? Oh, Gemini is doing well. They're flowing. Things are doing well. They're doing well for Gemini. So let's see if we can mess up Gemini's money or whoever we feel like connected to Gemini. Let's mess up their money as well. And so Source is saying, if you have, because this person right here is pregnant, if whether you're the man or woman, if you have kids, you're letting your kids know ahead of time, hey, look, be careful. Look out for certain things when in terms of sharing. You never know who knows whom because you sharing and you telling, you know, and you hurt and you sharing and you upset and frustrated and trying to connect and want to belong and all of this other stuff with people. You never know who knows whom. And the target could be you, uh, Gemini. It could be you or your spouse. So and that would be a form of self-sabotage. But sources already worked it out that there's a lot of wealth coming your way that now that things are being exposed and who is being exposed, they won't have access to it anyway. So, yeah, you're doing cord cutting ceremonies. There it is. You're doing cord cutting ceremonies. Anytime people, you know, they try to, they, they, and that's a, it's a form of manipulation because what does innocent children have to do with anything? Why would you try to mess up? Why would somebody try to mess up somebody's kids, you know, money, you know, just because they mad at you, Gemini? I don't know who I'm talking to. Or, or let's say you're the child and they, somebody's mad at your parents and they trying to mess up your money. You can't figure out for the life of you. You're going on one audition after the other. I'm looking at music here. You're going on one after audition after the other. You're going on one this after the other and doors are being closed in your face. You can't figure out for the life of you why until you figure out, oh, that's right. I never, then you hear in a conversation, your parents are telling you so-and-so is connected to this person, this person. You're like, wait a minute. Hold on. All these people are connected. Yep. Then you start thinking about all the conversation you thought was having. You were, I'm talking about you. If you the child, the adult child, you conversation, you thought the people you were having with your friends and stuff, and they taking information back to other people who have an issue with your parents. It's a small world. I used to tell people all the time, I'm like, be careful who you're talking about in the in the workplace because everybody don't change their last name. <laughs> you could be talking to, you could be having an issue with a manager and talking to their spouse who is in HR and they never change their last name. Because you go into HR, oh, my manager is a this and that and so on and so forth. They like trying to be as professional as possible. You talking to their spouse and they got two different last names. Sun God. Yep. So 40. Come all, come now, expand into the skies and into the shadows below. And into the shadows below. Yep. So, like I said, source is uh, source is working things out while exposing the energies that were trying to slow down or stop or freeze up your money. They can't stop it, but they were trying to freeze up your money. And while they were trying to freeze up your money, Gemini, it was exposing them at the same time. So now you know exactly who everybody is. Now you know exactly who, and it's not hearsay, because that's that's the that's the worst. That's the hearsay. I mean, it's just so much confusion around hearsay. They don't even make any sense. It's not even hearsay at this point. You you got it straight from source, because <laughs> hearsay is like I always tell people don't even go by hearsay. Even the most reliable resource could have a motive. Don't even go by hearsay. Because mm -mm. why do people feel so comfortable talking about you, Gemini, to somebody who's supposed to be such a reliable resource? Why? Because they say they related to somebody. Oh, they say it's such and such and so. Why they so why why they feel so comfortable? Oh, okay, so they you sat there and listened to all this man. Okay. Ritual. So when you're doing your, you know, new moon rituals, whatever that may be, remember the new you. You're giving birth to a new you. Tap into your own intuition. And like I said before, source is exposing things left and right. And so make sure you're paying attention. But the only reliable resource is source. That's the only reliable resource is source. And I'm talking about the one that's on point. I, th I mean, for real, like, 
complete and total clarity. Yeah, somebody, you know, somebody could feel like here we have six six. There's right, that's right. Remember, we started out the new moon in Gemini on six six, right? Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I'm telling you. So it's just saying, even when your loved ones slip up and don't know who they venting or telling their things to, it's okay. Well, I'm telling you what the enemy meant for evil, source will turn it around for your good. And that's exactly what your whole reading is about. Even when your loved ones slip up, they could be talking to other they could think that they're talking to like a they just venting, they hurt, they upset, they like, man, you know, my money is just like really messed up. And they're like, oh no, that's terrible. Your money is not looking real good. And what's happening? I thought I thought this was going on. I thought your family oh no, they don't really have it like that. I thought they had so on and so oh really? I thought, you know, and they started talking and venting and people are listening and they're telling taking other information back. So it's just saying, yeah, you're 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 very positive, you're staying positive. Um, and you are, you have been under, it's just a bunch of confusion has been, um, centered around, looks like money looking at here in the cards, but now there's energies that's now on the outside of your vault door. And now you're going to leave them on the outside of your vault door. Keep it that way. That's what I have for you. Gemini's was not trying to make this extra long, but wow, wow, wow. When I look at your readings here. So from now on, this is going down generationally, like, you know, there's going to be a whole lot of chatter for a minute, but somebody is learning how to keep some things close to the cuff, right? But that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.